Destiny 2's Trials of Osiris is back and it's better than ever. It's more accessible, rewarding and engaging and it drops so much endgame gear and materials. If you want pinnacle gear, ascendant shards, a god roll reads regret, one of the highest DPS guns in the game, then this updated Trials is where it's at. Going Flawless is seven wins in a row. It's something everyone wants to do, but not everyone can. Going Flawless grants you access to the Lighthouse so you can open a chest for rewards like adept weapons and mods, more pinnacle gear, the exclusive emblem that makes your trials armor glow and ascendant shards and more. The goal of this video is to explain how my fire team went flawless and hopefully give you some tips and tricks and things to consider while playing to hopefully make you win more rounds, games and hopefully get the seven wins in a row to get you to the Lighthouse. Let's get started. I want to show you the loadout I used first, so the exotic hand cannon ace of spades because that range is insane. The exotic perk memento mori when it procs does so much damage and most importantly the radar stays active when you aim down sight. This is so clutch. You'll see a lot of hand cannons in Trials of Osiris. That is because Destiny's small map design makes a shorter range of hand cannons effective most of the time. Secondly, a shotgun for close quarters combat. You really can use any heavy weapon you want, but this PvP combination of hand cannons and shotguns has always been my setup. I'm a hunter main, so bottom tree golden gun for the super. But if I'm honest, regardless of what class you play, your super is gonna be something that the enemy team needs to deal with so choose anything and the exotic armor i'm using is stompies and i'm using armor mods that complement my weapons firstly you need to play as a team for so many reasons this means staying close to your fire team at all times team shooting will drop your enemies like flies you'll win way more trades this way and if one of you goes down you're already in close range to revive your teammate the only reason you don't stay grouped up as a team is either the enemy has a super and you need to scatter and run for your life or you've agreed with your teammates to send someone to flank but apart from that you need to try and stay in lockstep with your teammates all in all team play is everything secondly don't let your enemy revive their teammates for free if you kill someone don't run away from their bodies and let the enemy run around and revive them treat the location of their death as like a fixed point now and you guard and block the enemy from reviving like your life depends on it i've seen so many rounds lost from players letting people revive for free and additionally to this be aggressive if you've downed someone from a distance and it's now three versus two push the enemy team together you have the player count advantage to win the shootout and if you don't because it's not always as easy as that at minimum you've pushed them away from reviving their teammates stop letting people revive for free moving on control the heavy ammo when it spawns it spawns once a game you need to secure it for yourself and deny it to the enemies this one is self-explanatory heavy ammo is almost always a free kill play what you're most comfortable with but don't be scared to adjust your loadout so i love hand cannons and i'll be using them 95 percent of the time but there are moments when pulse rifles scouts snipers and bows come out on the enemy team and i'm forced to change because i'm simply being outranged in certain longer range sight lines the faster i adapt and say this hand cannon isn't working the better because it's as simple as if you can't beat them join them if they all play long range you play long range if they all start playing close you start playing close ideally though you want your fire team set up to cover all ranges so get familiar with other weapons you might not normally use and just be prepared to swap from your favorite loadout when needs be some players in Destiny 2's PvP know nothing but run forwards and slide with shotguns. These players will continue to do so as long as it works. They are incredibly aggressive and the faster you recognize playstyles like this, the easier you can do what I call backpedaling. It is exactly what it sounds like, but you'll be surprised how many fights I win because I didn't get baited into a 50-50 shotgun duel and instead walked back literally centimeters out of one hit KO shotgun range creating space between us and then three tap the titan trying to rush me down it sounds stupid and it sounds silly but try it trust me it works at the top of your screen they show your enemies supers for a reason it's so you can play accordingly like i said at the start if they have a big aoe super ready do not stay grouped up with your teammates. Or if they have a roaming super and yours is a shutdown super, save yours to stop them dead in their tracks. Or if they have a roaming super, just run for your life and try to burn them out. 
By the way, if you don't know what a roaming super is, it's like Hunter's Golden Gun or Titan's Fist of Havoc, and a shutdown super is like Hunter's Blade Barrage. There's a lot of mind games that need to be played, but at around round four-ish, you'll see supers start coming up, so you need to keep an eye out. Read the supers and act accordingly. And additionally, space your supers out as a team. Do not all pop your super in one round. Don't do it, don't do it. Stagger them. You pop yours on round three, your next teammate pops theirs on round four, you get the point. On your armor, the most important stat you can spec into with mods is recovery. At a minimum, tier eight or nine recovery. I can't stress this enough. It kills the game flow when you have to sit in cover all day waiting for your health to come back. You can play more aggressively with more recovery because your health comes back faster than your enemies. And those shotgunners that I spoke about before, if they've popped you one from a distance and you're one shot, they will push you. They will push you. But if in that time when they're pushing you, you've already recovered the majority of your health, you're not just a sitting duck. You can actually fight back. Spec into recovery stats. If you're in a pre-made fire team or three, speak to your teammates, call things out. You'd be surprised how much information is seen but not communicated. Even if you've died, you've got that little spectator of you and you can see things that your teammates might not. Oh, there's a warlock in the healing rift or he's backed off and he's going for a res. Just talk, get your teammates on the same page as you when you see an opportunity as well. If one of them's down, just openly say, one of them's down, let's play aggro. Just that split second to get your team all on the same page will benefit you so much. Communication is everything. There's so many more things I could have said, but honestly, if you wanna be better at trials, you should dabble in Crucible frequently and actively try to get better. That's the, that's the main one. Don't just go in there to get your pinnacle for the week. Go in there and try to get better. There's a million things like look, like pay, do you know how important your radar is? I should make a video about just your radar alone. Like watch a video about radars to understand what each ping on the radar means. But yeah. I hope these tips helped some of you out. I'll leave some gameplay here at the end for you to watch. My name is Durani from VG247 and I hope to see you at the lighthouse. Peace. You have but one life. You train here to stand against the darkness. Hold nothing back. Other side, yeah. One's on bridge. On bridge, on bridge, on bridge. Low? Huge. I'm low. I've been formed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. One minute left. Huge. Let's go. Only one enemy is left. Coming to you now. No, you don't need us, bro. Your enemies are down. You are in the lead. I am not surprised. <laughs> I've pushed up. Only one enemy is left. Let's go, boys. Your enemies are down. in the lead don't slow down let's go man just keep out let's f***ing go i've gone let's go close close it's close it's close your enemies are down Your team is in the lead, God. Do not <laughs> relent. Let's just keep it up, man. Two more. Heavy round. Come on. Hit it, boys. Let's go, man. He's on a pillar. On the on the inside pillar. He's camping. Oh, you're different, bro. Where's the heavy? Now we will see fireworks. Let's go. Round one. The team stands tall. Take him off the breeze. Your moment is here. Finish the fight strong. Oh, 
Outside. Yep. Huge. On the left. Only one enemy is left. Push him! Push him! <laughs> Let's go! Bruh! Grant in passage. Have you watched the Let's go. Jesus pray? Hey, thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed it. It's free and you can always unsubscribe at any time. Take a look at our other videos if you like. Also, check out VG247.com for around the clock gaming news and updates.